you want to know how to make a Minecraft server in 2025, and we're going to be showing you how to do that in this video. Now, first things first, you want to go here. It's the second link in the description down below, and it will take you to our in-depth text guide on making a Minecraft server. It's also got information on making a Forge server, a Fabric server here if you want mods, or a Purple server if you want plugins, but this is always going to be up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft. For example, right now, the most recent version of Minecraft is 1.21.4, but in the future, we're going to have 1.22 come out, maybe even 1.23 come out. And we will make sure that this stays up to date as well as the article to those newer versions of Minecraft Ensuring that no matter what you're going to be able to make your server Even if this 2025 video is outdated and Minecraft servers change completely with how they're made This video up here at the top will always be the most up to date and on the most recent version of Minecraft So nonetheless, once you're here, go ahead and scroll down And what we want to do is download the Minecraft server files by clicking the download Minecraft button here That will take you to the Minecraft server official download page on Minecraft.net Where we want to click on download Download Minecraft underscore server dot char. The version here will change depending on what the most recent version of Minecraft is. When you click that, the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, but this is Minecraft's official website and it's 100% safe to do that. Now, I do want to mention the server that we're making here is not up and running all the time. It's only going to be up and running when your computer's up and running. It's also only meant for your friends, your family, people that you trust because it's going to be hosted on your own internet connection and your own IP address, meaning anyone who gets the IP address of this server can DDoS you, which basically means hit your internet offline and figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. On top of that, since it's on your own computer, you can need a good computer to host this server. What if you don't have any of those? What if you don't have to worry about security and things like that? Or what if you just want to make your server up 24-7? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash simple to set your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods to your server and customize your server any way that you want. And there's even mod packs with one click installation, making adding mod packs and playing mod packs with your friends super easy. However, occasionally you'll run into an issue with a Minecraft server. Something will happen. Your server will have some sort of an issue. And at some game hosting, you don't even have to worry about it because there's expert live chat support there to help you out and make sure that whatever issue your server is having is fixed super quickly. So if you don't want to host the server yourself and you want to do it the simple way in just a few minutes with any mods you want, things like that, go to Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash simple to start your very own Minecraft server, again, the simple way. And you can also host vanilla servers on Simple Game Hosting. Talk about mods a lot, but vanilla servers are super easy to set up. You don't even have to worry about mods or anything like that. So with this downloaded, though, what if you do want to host a server on your own computer? Well, we can go ahead and do it. What we want to do is minimize our browser and create a new folder on our desktop. So right-click and then create a new folder. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it 2025 Minecraft Server because that's the guide we're doing, but you can name it anything and then what we want to do is find this server.jar file we downloaded. Now for me, that's going to be in the downloads folder here. And right there it is, server.jar. Now if for whatever reason you don't have the .jar at the end, you can click on view up here at the top and then make sure show is highlighted. Just hover over it and then click on file name extensions and it will make that .jar appear. Go ahead and move this server.jar file from your downloads folder into that folder you created on your desktop. Open up this folder and double click the server.jar file. Now at this point, some files and folders should generate like this, but what if they don't? Well, if they don't, that's say okay, because you probably don't have Java, and you can find our complete guide on getting Java in the description down below. Specifically, now you need Java 21. As I said, things can change with Minecraft. This changed last year. You used to need Java 20. Now you need Java 21. So if this is updated to a different version of Java, that is a-okay. But go ahead, download Java video guide, in-depth text guide, all of that stuff. You're also going to need to run the jar fix, also linked down below. This will take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, but make sure to get Java first, then run the jar fix, then you'll be able to double click on this server.jar and all of these files and folders will generate. Now go ahead and open up the eula.txt file here and change eula equals false to eula equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that, assuming you agree to the Minecraft eula here, which we do. Now go ahead and do file save to make sure this file is saved and then double click on the server.jar again. At this point, your server is going to start. It's going to be online and you can join it. Now your friends can not join it at this point, but let's make sure you can get online and things like that before we even think about worrying about your friends joining it. So I'm going to go ahead and move it up here to the top left, get Minecraft open, and show you how to join this server. So here we are on Minecraft's main menu, and what we can see here is multiplayer. We want to click on that, then click proceed, and then add a server. Now you can name this server anything. I'm going to name it the local connection though, because this is only a connection and only you can join your server using this. The server address here is going to be localhost, all one word exactly like that. 
Then go ahead and click done, and there we go. We have the local connection, and after a few seconds, it will resolve. There you go. You can double click on the local connection, and it will join on in. We'll see it join in here on the left hand side. Next games, so that's me, and we're joining in game here. Now, at this point, I would recommend running around your server some, seeing if you lag, seeing if you have issues. If you do, you're probably not going to be able to host a server on your computer because your computer's not got good enough hardware. That's okay. There are solutions like our company, Simple Game Hosting. Link down below for that, but. If you can host a server, it's not going to lag right now because you're online and when it's just you online, it definitely shouldn't lag. If it's lagging with just you, it's going to lag with your friends, which is why I say you probably can't host a server. Nevertheless, at this point, you're good to go. Your server is online and yeah, things are working for you. But I said your friends can't join this server right now. How, how do they join? Well, in order for your friends to join the server, you're going to need to port forward. And in the description down below, there's an in-depth guide to this, our complete guide on how to port forward for a Minecraft server updated for 2025. It goes over everything you need to know in text format and, of course, video format, because that's what we do here, to ensure that you can get your server port forwarded and running exactly how you want it with your friends joined your server as well. I've also got a link in the description down below to how to fix a broken Minecraft server. This will go over how to fix any issues you have on your server. It's a good watch, because if you have your server, it will break. Eventually, every Minecraft server is going to have some sort of an issue, and because of that, we have a 20-minute video on troubleshooting it. Watch this, that way when an issue does occur, you're like, hey, I saw this video one time, and that's how you fix it, and you know ahead of time. At this point, though, you now know how to make a Minecraft server for you and your friends. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. We'll be more than happy to help you out, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.